Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Micah, a first year at Santa Clara University, and I will be showing you around my dorm, which is McLaughlin Walsh. I will be going a little more in detail than what I did for my move-in dorm tour vlog. Also, because someone commented on one of my last videos asking for a little bit about the other dorms, I'm going to include that into this video, so stay tuned to watch that. Thank you for that. So this week's video is going to be about the dorm that I'm currently living at. The dorm that I'm currently living in here at Santa Clara University, which is McLaughlin Walsh. So I talked about it briefly in my move-in dorm tour video, but I want to go a little more into detail about what this dorm has to offer, what its facilities are like, and stuff like that. Anyways, let's get started.
because someone commented in the comment section on one of my last videos requesting for a video about the other dorms, I'm going to include a little bit about all the other dorms. So some of the other dorms include dorms like Dunn, Swig, Graham, San Filippo, Campisi, Sobrato, Casa Italiana, the last one is Finn, which is the newest one. Those are the dorms. So McLaughlin Walsh and Swig and Dunn are all situated on one side of Benson Memorial Center, which is our single cafeteria on campus. Those three dorms are all traditional style dorms, so starting with Dunn. Dunn is, I believe, five stories tall. It's kind of similar to McWalsh, so what you see inside of the dorm that I live in is similar to what is in Dunn. I've heard, though, that Dunn rooms are smaller, which may or may not be a problem depending on who you are, how much you have or want to have or want to bring. I did hear from someone you might be sharing one closet, whereas in McWalsh, you have two closets, one for each roommate, so that is something that if you're fine doing, then good for you. The one positive thing compared to McWalsh is that Dunn does have air conditioning whereas McWalsh does not have air conditioning. Also Dunn is situated right on the corner so closer to all the frat houses. It's easily accessible from the street side. Okay so next is Swig. Swig is the really tall building that if you don't know of any other dorm, you probably have heard or have seen Swig. The theme of Swig is around environmental justice. The rooms are kind of like McWalsh, traditional, no air conditioning, and there are 11 floors, but there is a really cool sky lounge at the top, which offers really great views of the city. In addition, Swig does have a reputation of being a little more social, if you know what I mean. So if you're into that type of crowd, into that, that vibe, then Swig is the place for you. If not, then maybe you might want to consider somewhere else to dorm while you're here at Santa Clara University. So then we have Graham, which is the first of the suite style dorms. Graham is really close to the library and really close to Benson Memorial Center, but on the other side, close to food, close to books, ideal location, suite style dorm. So what you have is either doubles or you have triples adjoined by a single bathroom um, and shower that you share between the two rooms. And because it's suite style, like some of the suite style dorms have a, a reputation of being a little more individual, but Graham is on the more social side of the suite style dorms. From what I've heard, also I hang out there a lot, so you can catch me there Fridays watching The Bachelor in the movie room if you want to join. Anyways, the theme of Alpha is innovation and integrity. Graham does have this really nice courtyard in the middle where you can play games. You also have tables so that you can do homework outside in your courtyard, which is kind of secluded as it's mainly for Graham residents, although anyone could use it. The next set of dorms is Campisi and San Filippo. So those are older, traditional dorms. I believe the difference between the two is that Camp Easy has air conditioning, San Filippo does not. Their design on the outside and inside is pretty similar. They're both a little on the older side. I did stay in San Filippo for Unity Night last year, which was my first experience in Santa Clara dorms. And I have to say, it was older. So the next dorm, RLC, Residential Learning Community, is Sobrato an apartment and suite style dorm and so what you have in the building that most freshmen are going into is a common room with a kitchenette area but not a kitchen a living room and then off of that you have bedrooms and bathrooms and so you have a couple bedrooms and bathrooms sharing this living space if that is the type of living experience that you're looking for then Sobrato has that to offer for you the next dorm is Costa Italiana I believe it's similar to Sobrato. This is the dorm that I'm least familiar with, but I do know that a lot of people have liked it and a lot of people have thought it is also quiet. The next dorm is Finn. So the next dorm is Finn, which is the newest dorm. It actually just opened this past fall. So fall 2019, Finn opened up as a brand new dorm. So it's ultra modern inside. Huge like kitchen, dining room, lounge spaces with really nice facilities. There are also study rooms, like glass boxes that you can study in. So it's really exclusive for Finn residents to use these spaces. And so it's really nice. It's also suite style. Everything about Finn is like hotel style. The rooms are hotel style. Your check-in desk is hotel style. The rooms are really nice. 
nice. They're really large. You walk in, you have a double vanity, you have two closets, and you walk farther in, and you have the bedroom, which opens up, and you have big windows. They connect two rooms with a bathroom and a shower. So kind of like Graham, but a little bit larger. So for me, when I was applying for housing freshman year, I believe I ranked it, like, you have eight choices, and so I ranked it, like, Finn, Graham, Sobrato, Classy Italiana, and then I had McWalsh in the eighth choice. I got McWalsh only because I was in the LEAD Scholars Program and the University Honors Program. So when you're in both the LEAD Scholars Program and the University Honors Program, your dorms are actually limited to, I think, three dorms and McWalsh happens to be one of them and so because of that you should be aware that if you're in both these programs you might not get your first or top even five dorms depending on what you choose so that's something to be aware of and that's something that I wish I had known or someone had told me in advance but I believe this is only like that for your first year as an incoming freshman so that you can build community with other people in those programs that you're in anyway so I just want to apologize for how late this video is because I had a very busy weekend with a lot of activities going Going on. Aside from that, I just want to say thank you to the individual who commented below suggesting this video and I just want to let you know that I'm open to suggestions and that if you have video suggestions, please shoot them at me and I will do my best to respond and do my best to create a video on that content. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please remember to give them a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications about my videos when they come out, which is about every single week. With that being said, I have to get to class because it's Monday. Day and I have a final. No, I have a midterm tomorrow that I need to do for cultures and ideas.